and we're back with this next episode of, uh, Polar Express for Game Boy Advance. A slightly cursed but still pretty fun Christmas adventure. And, um, I just wanted to show you guys again before we get started today, my little baby Elfie here, my world's smallest elf on the shelf, is so small that they fit in Mr. Wolf's stocking. Is that the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Okay, um... Yeah, so we'll, we'll get started now. And here we are again. All right. The Polar Express. <laughs> Clover QQ, of course. How could I forget? Um, <clears throat> Episode 9-3. Wow. I remember when we were still on 1-1. One, one. All right. Looks like we're back in the elf town again. But the thing is... We're on, like, more of a rooftop area. It's not like the suburbs below. So that's nice. It's a little little bit different than last time. Um, if we were... If we were back at that last tile set again, I think I would have lost my mind. I'm gonna pass that chest. I'll come back to it. I'm just curious what's over here. Oh, we have the exit door. Can I reach? Yeah! There we go. I probably shouldn't have got that coffee, actually, now that I think about it. Should have saved it for when I needed health, but... At that point, I'm already at the end of the level, so... Oh! There's like a rooftop up there. Oh, it's not anything I can climb on. I thought it was something I could climb on, but it's totally not. It's just a... A tile set, like a, a roof background. Alright, how do I move this so I can get that candy cane there? That there candy cane. Alright, I know these are supposed to be like, uh... Uh... Like little snowflakes? Or icicles, maybe? But... Those totally look like crosses. Do they not? Like, right there, above my guy's head? These little, uh... Hanging blue things? Those totally look like crosses. Which, if that was intentional, nice touch. But if not, uh... What? <laughs> I mean... I... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, if it wasn't intended to be, like, a cross, what was... What was their plan for that? Is that supposed to be, like, a light or something? Like, I have no idea. There we go. It makes me wonder how many people celebrate Christmas that aren't Christians. Not that there's a problem with that, but it's just curious to think about, you know? Okay, I can't open this chest. Okay, pogo stick, come on. We gotta get across this gap. This is very important. Alright. I need to get up there, and I need to not bump my head like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Please! Alright. I thought I saw some breakable ice over here, which is why I'm so determined to get over here, but... I think I've been mistaken. I think I already broke that ice. Okay. I admit it, I am lost. I am currently very lost. Uh, is this where the start of the level was? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's get rid of this pogo stick for a second. I want to see what's down this ladder. Ooh, fancy. I like those little pillars. Imagine living here and just having... Oh, that's a nice clock. Oh, that's that's a nice touch. It's almost midnight. That's cute. Didn't he say- oh. Didn't Tom Hanks' conductor say a long time ago that it was almost midnight, though? It's been like... I want to say half an hour or more of recording me running through these levels, and I'm still not there. I would have definitely missed the Christmas unveiling of whatever it was. By now, I mean... All right, how am, I, how am I supposed to get down there? <laughs> like that, apparently. I gotta get hurt for it. Ow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> That was completely my fault. I'm highly embarrassed. And I'm starting out like a brand new level. Like I haven't done a thing. Because I didn't find any checkpoints. That's another thing they could do to make the, the game uh, design better is if... Like, earlier I was saying, if they made it so there was no, um, no, like, deaths, because then you don't know where you're 
going. Like, you don't know... You Like, if you die and you respawn, you don't know what you've gotten and what you haven't. And you're lost, you don't know where you just were. It's really confusing and dumb. So, like... Ideally, you wouldn't have lives at all. Like, if you got hurt, you'd just fall down and go oof, you know? But... Yeah, this power-up is not long enough. Please, let me down! Oh my gosh! I'm really good at dying in this game. But yeah, that's another thing they could do to make the game better, is just have more checkpoints everywhere. That would actually remedy a lot of the problem I'm having. Yeah, this is not a bad game at all. I, I, I think my criticisms are pretty... My criticisms are pretty valid. Uh, I'm not getting that tree yet. I want to see what's over here first. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah some health. Some hot, hot cocoa, not hot coffee. <laughs> um, yeah, I think my criticisms are pretty valid and... Frankly, I don't have too many criticisms. I think the game is pretty well made. Uh, I think the character controls kind of awkwardly, especially when it comes to jumping. And it feels like a hitbox issue, but it's not. It's really just the awkwardness of controlling the character. He doesn't move the way you would expect. Um, but it's not that bad either. It's I've played much, much worse, so... <laughs> All right, please tell me this is a wand. Yeah, it's a wand. All right, we're getting out of here in style. Run! Yay! Okay, that was satisfying. I like how you get to use toys to solve your problems. And, uh... I don't hate the maze thing. I think a lot of people would really like it. But personally, I'm not a maze person. I I don't have great memory, and I don't... In I don't like working on my memory to make it better either. I don't want to have to memorize stuff. Oh, I fall down. But yeah, other than the stiffness of the character, maybe make the game less, uh, like a little bit more forgiving. Because even I am getting just a hair frustrated and I could tell kids wouldn't get through this just because of how easy it is to die and how much you'd have to backtrack when you die. That part's not great. And some of the tile set is a little bit busy, but that's not a very important complaint. That's a very low-level complaint. So other than that, um, at least what I've played so far, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's not bad at all. And especially if you're a fan of the movie, or you just really, really like Christmas like I do, um, I definitely think it's worth playing. I think if I wasn't playing it for a video, I probably would not play it all the way through. I probably would have stopped way back then when I said I would have stopped. Um, and I certainly wouldn't 100% it, but back in the day when I had only a Game Boy to bring, like now I've got my 3DS, my phone, my Switch, like lots more options. But especially back in the day, um, when you don't have a lot of options, I mean, this would have been a really fun game to play. Especially around Christmas. Also, these totally look like Pokeballs. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. But I'm back. Alright, looks like I was going up here. Oh, this is the beginning of the level. Uh -huh. <laughs> My favorite. Oh. Uh, just pretend you didn't see that really bad jump of me falling. <laughs> Alright, and gonna make it? Yeah, I made it. Alright. That was pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of how I made that jump. Oh, jeez. Okay, it was nice of them to give me some hot chocolate right there. Uh, right before they screwed me over. Oh, well, I found the end of the level, but where's that last bell? That little dingle hopper. Where? Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, pogo stick. It must be down here. Oh, jeez! <laughs> I accidentally let go of the pogo stick when he flew up and it looked funny. Alright, um. Please. 
How many pogo sticks do you think that are, in, are in that little box? Probably too many. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a foot cramp because I'm sitting on my feet. <sighs> Probably not the best way to sit. Like, you shouldn't really sit on your feet like I do, but... Most of the time it's fine, just only once in a great while. It's just like, oh, foot cramp. Alright, I need to pull this as close as possible, I remember. Oh, never mind, I'm stuck now. Okay. As close as possible with me still being able to get down. There we go. Candy cane! Alright, I'm only missing three candy canes and one bell, so I must be getting close to the end of this level. And I do know where the exit is. Hopefully I can get there <laughs> without dying. Um. Oh, there's the bell! Screw the other two candy canes, we're going right for the exit. I'm not dealing with that, man. There we go. Again, that was another very embarrassing jump. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Are we gonna get a story segment again? Because it's been a, a hot second. Like, uh... I guess we'll see. Episode 10-1. Let's go. Look! Dot dot dot. They just finished the last present. Who is this guy? What's the routing? Going to the States. Yeah. Grand Rapids! <laughs> Grand Rapids, Michigan! Oh, I, is that in the movie? I forgot about that. That's funny. Um, if you guys know me, I live in Detroit, Michigan. I've been to Grand Rapids many times. That's hilarious. That's amazing. A plus to this game. A plus. That's my town. Yeah. Well, I mean, Grand Rapids is pretty big, kid, but yeah. What are they doing? Shupt? <laughs> I'm gonna tell that to somebody when they're annoying me. Shupt! That's amazing. Let's go! There! What? Listen. The bell. What bell? I can't hear. It's the middle one. Are you sure? Wow, this kid, every three seconds he says, are you sure, to this girl. Shupt. Uh, we're off. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we're gonna shupt down this, uh, little hole, I guess. Ooh. Alright, this is giving me some, uh... Not, not great feels. I do get a little bit, uh, motion sick from games, and this, the other, the other Triton ones were fine, but this one's not that great, and it's probably because of the way it's kind of, like, bending, like, the pipes aren't exactly straight, they're kind of, like, warped a little. It's not doing good for me, <laughs> it's giving me a little bit of a headache, actually. Oh, no. oh no! We died! You know that pink screen was would probably, uh, be black if this was on a regular Game Boy Advance. I mean, I'm totally running this game on legitimate hardware, I mean. <laughs> uh, okay, I went the wrong way already. That's good. Um... Yeah, I keep going the wrong way. I mean, but... The least I could ask for is candy canes. The most I could ask for is not dying. Which I did last time, so... <laughs> oh gosh, this is getting me sick. I, I've always wanted to play VR games, but I don't know if I can, because... Even just, like, things like this are just really... <sighs> hard to look at, I'll say. Oh my gosh, like these exits are coming up real fast. I, I mean, I'm lucky I'm not dead yet, but... Oh god, oh god, no! <laughs> I panicked! Yikes. Please don't make me do this over and over, I'm gonna get sick. Oh god. While we're speaking about this very strange level, um... I mean, they, they made the train look good. The train the train looked good. It didn't have this warped 
pipe perspective. I don't know why this one looks so bizarre. But, uh, I don't even know what the background is supposed to be. It looks like... Well, I thought it was trees at first, but actually now that I think about it, it looks like more like... More of these pipes, but why do they end abruptly? Is it more like death exits? Like the one I accidentally took early? Earlier? Like... Just kind of bizarre. I will say that the last... Um... The last game I ran, the visual on the Visual Boy Advance, which is this, uh, emulator. I mean, totally, <laughs> totally real Game Boy Advance, um, was LEGO Knight's Kingdom, and it couldn't run that one at 100% to save its life. 86 candy canes! I accidentally did really good. That's nice. Oh, you see that? I totally did get another punch. I totally did. All right. Yeah, that game would not run it full speed. The music sounded just awful. Um, but yeah, this time around, at least it's full. It's going full speed. It doesn't sound choppy. It's no good. None of these buttons work. It won't go any further. Maybe there is another way out. Can you hear that bell? No. <laughs> Me. <laughs> they should really have the bell like. Uh, as a sound effect in the background of the cutscenes, because I can't hear it either, kid. I say we follow the wrapping paper. Oh, this is a pretty intense level on the, the 3D version of this game, I'll tell you that. Oh. The fact that they started me off with uh, a thing so I don't die makes me a little bit concerned. What is this? That's kind of out of place, that bright lime green. I don't know if I like that. It looks like a missing texture. Alright, I guess we're going this way. I am- We just started this level. I'm already completely lost. And I'm getting kind of, uh, weary of these map, uh, confusing structures. Uh, I was hoping for something a little bit more straightforward, but that's just the way the game is, and- <laughs> Frankly, I'm just tired. I'm getting tired of it. Oh, hi! Something tells me that elf will- Yeah, he hurt me. That elf hurt me. Somebody needs to explain to me why that elf hurt me. Oh, where am I? And what is this level? I'm so confused right now. All right, where is that tree? I specifically did not get that tree a few seconds ago so that I could get more gather more stuff and then then if I died when I reloaded the checkpoint it would be a bit safer okay so we're in a factory now so I expect things to look a bit more factory ish but what in the world is that thing supposed to be that is like a human mincer like <laughs> what are they why? Okay, well I found the exit door. It's as far to the right as you can possibly get. Oh. I'm really good at getting damaged. Alright. Also, I'm not into this music that much. It's not that good. <laughs> yes! Return of the Socks! My favorite. That's like... I love that they put that in there. Like, they didn't have to, but they did. They put socks for kids like me who just love socks. And But then they act like it's a bad present. It's so not. I love socks, man. First of all, any present is a good present, okay? Uh... I mean, I can think of some gag gifts, but like, any legitimate, like, actually trying present is a good present. Um... Including socks. I don't recall if when I was a kid if I really liked socks as a present or not. I think I liked them anyways because I, I knew I always was getting more presents. It wasn't just socks. And I remember being, uh, I mean, I never really cared for getting clothes for Christmas, but I always got lots of clothes for Christmas. And 
I, I didn't really care for them, but I knew they were expensive, and I appreciated that. I, I, I knew that they were useful, so I still did appreciate it, so... At least as a kid, my, my, my parents brought me up right for that, like... Even if it's not something that you, like, really like... A toy or something that you really love, like... Any, any kind of present is a good present, like... It's even useful ones, if it's not even that exciting, like clothes, like... You should always be appreciative. Um, but how do I get up there, though, actually? Oh my gosh, those are scissors! It's a scissorman! <laughs> There's no scissorman, but I'd be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if we found one. Alright, I mean, I know what they're doing here. It's chaotic. Let's, let's pick up another pair of socks. Yeah, okay, I feel a little bit better now. I'm wearing like four pairs of socks and I feel better. I mean, I get it. It's like all factory-ish here and kind of spooky. Uh, it's a present wrapping area, I guess, but at the same time, it's still really, I don't, I don't like how scary factory-ish this is. I'm like, they're trying a little bit. Like you've got like, these pillars have, like, lights on them, so it feels a little bit Christmassy, but honestly, it's not good enough. It, it's... The music. I think the music is the worst offender here. Makes me feel not Christmassy, and it makes me feel a little bit on edge. I just want to find Santa! Um, I don't know why they just left all of us kids around here just... To be lost. Oh my gosh. There's the scissors. How am I supposed to get past this, please? Oh, God. Thumbnail is just my my hero boy kid getting, like, cut in half by these scissors. It's terrible. <laughs> what really caused him to have the hole in his pocket? Okay, there's a bell that I almost missed just because it's so freaking busy. Oh, how am I supposed to get up there without getting blasted by steam? Alright. There we go, I made it. Okay. And I'll just casually crawl underneath this death trap here. Don't worry about me. Oh, and I got a candy cane while I was at it. That's nice. Alright, what's in here? Magic wand! I was hoping it was socks, but I guess. I guess I'll accept that. Yeah, I mean, I went through this whole section already, so the... The section I'm missing must be on the left. And that box is socks, and as much as I love socks, I'm not willing to go back and get more, so... Um... Yeah, so there must be a very small section that I'm missing. That has five candy canes and a bell. Um... Ah, I'm getting kind of thirsty. Been, been uh, recording for a while now. Should probably take a break. <clears throat> I'll take a break after this level. Oh gosh, I fell down. Okay. Uh, I'm lost though. Oh, there's some candy canes. This must be a good area. I mean, it's a death trap. Please, I don't want to be dead yet. I'm not ready for that. Okay, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I'm not ready to feel like a ghost yet, actually. All right, there's a candy cane up there that I don't know how to get to. Uh, oh gosh. Will you guys judge me if I accidentally make a safe state here? I really don't want to redo this whole level. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying... Wow, that would have been bad. Okay. Tell me you saw that brick. I did not see that brick. Okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I'm not gonna die. Uh. 
Okay, try this way, uh, hero boy. Is this the start of the level? I don't think so. Well, actually, maybe. Okay, that's kind of helpful. Magic wand again. You know, it would be helpful is if it lasted longer. That's the main problem with this is it doesn't last long enough. Can barely even get up here. All right. No! <laughs> All right, that didn't happen. You guys saw nothing. Um. Oh. To be fair, I'm being a little bit more risky now that I have that save state, but uh, even so, like this is very hard for a kid at least. Like, oh, I'm sure it's doable. It's just you've gotta you'd, you'd have to do a lot of practice. Oh, all right. I'm lost. I'm, this is this is bad. I'm very lost. Okay, there's like. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to go this way? Oh, is that it? Please, this looks like the way I'm supposed to- Yes! Oh my gosh. Oh! I can't get that last candy cane. How do I get that there candy cane? I really want to get it, because it's the last one. Oh. I'm crying. This is so hard. This game has no right to be this hard. Maybe I'm just bad at games, okay? Um, hang on. Let me just... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what they want you to do here is try to guess where this platform is. And I don't want to be here all day trying to guess where this platform is. Because if you, if you crouch down like this, it doesn't move the camera down, so... I was up on that ledge, and imagine just trying to have to time it or guess. Like, bless saves. Oh my gosh, and then, <laughs> and then immediately I die. Bless save states, okay? Because I would have had to go over and over and over, like eight times to get this correct. All right. Now, how do I get back to the door? Um, you know what? This part's probably not very fun. Uh, <laughs> and I just died again. I will just, I'll meet you guys when I find the door. I, this is gonna just be more repetitive boringness. <sighs> Why is this so hard? As a kid, there is no way I would have made it through. Did I beat this game? Because I thought I did, but now I'm curious if I did, because... I, I, if I beat this, I'll be shocked. It requires so much precision out of a character that cannot allow precision. Dear Lord. Which, again, would be solved if you didn't require, like, just three hearts. If you just got knocked down, that would be a lot better. Alright, what's in this little chest here? Oh, a wand. Yay. Oh, it doesn't even last long enough for me to get anywhere. So, like, what's the point? Oh, all these levels look the same and I'm lost. Like, it does... What I've noticed so far is that it does, like, two identical levels, like, with the same exact tile sets. And then the third one is, like, a mix. Like, it's kind of the same tile set, but they add, like, a third section in it like that's what I've noticed well not, not like a third section but like a secondary tile set to mix with it like uh, even so it looks too similar and it's very confusing I'm confused and I am a grown adult <laughs> I don't like that scissors trap that doesn't make me happy that doesn't make me feel Christmas. I think the best part of this game truly is the very beginning. Before it gets overly ridiculously hard. And, uh... <laughs> and, um... It still actually feels kind of Christmassy. Because right now... We got all this stressful music actually stressing me out.
All right. This is just like the death world. All right, please be socks. Oh, it was a balloon. I don't want a balloon. I just want socks. Oh, this level. Dear Lord. Okay. Even the most confusing levels to this point. I've had a slight, slight idea, like, where I was, spatially. This one? Absolutely none. Negative, actually. I knew where I was better before I started the level. <laughs> oh boy, this is... This is not a great level, is it? It's really stressing me out. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not stressing you guys out either. That's, that's not my intention. Oh, I ran, I ran past a, a Christmas tree checkpoint and didn't even see it. Alright, I need to jump on this platform, but I'm not sure I can make it. Yeah, that's right. I did that. Oh! There is so much going on here. Um, let me see if I can reach that jump. It's pretty far. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not making that jump like that. Oh, it's cool, it's cool, we got a balloon. This is good. That'll do the job. That'll get us up there. All right. Um, I mean, I like collecting candy canes, but at the same time, when you're in like a creepy factory, it doesn't have that same appeal, you know? It doesn't feel like you're collecting, like, a fun holiday treat. It feels like you're trapped in a factory and you're horribly lost. <laughs> Story of the hero boy's life, I guess. Where are the other kids, I wonder? I hope they're having a better time than me. <laughs> Alright, I'm lost. I'm gonna use this balloon. Um, I think I'm just gonna cut out for a minute here. Uh, I'll be with you guys again when I find something actually interesting. So, I found a lot of candy canes, apparently, uh, throughout the course of this level, but I still need two bells, and frankly, I don't know where to look for them. Um, well, there's another candy cane that I don't need. <laughs> where am I going? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently back to the floor because I just fell off. Me totally not using speed up right now. Oh, I fall down. This is the level, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is, this is the level where I've lost it. The level where I finally give in to using speed up. Because not using speed up is just a pain. Where are we going? We're going upstairs? Alright, what's over here? Uh, clearly I've already been here because there's a thing on the box. Uh, a box on a pressure plate, I should say. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Okay, well, I found the door. Apparently, it's in, like, the top right of the world, I think. I think that's where I am? Ah, oh, gosh. Alright, again, I'll be back when I find something of interest. I don't think I can jump high enough to get over this elf. <laughs> no, I cannot. I found the bell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to zoom in on my reaction right there. That was, like, as exciting as finding a shiny Pokemon. Like, oh, man, I found the bell. Alright, um, and there should be a balloon in this chest that can bring me up to the exit door, please. No, no deaths, please. Okay. Hopefully this guy will pass, because I don't think I'm tall enough to jump over him. Go, 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 go! Yes! Oh, God, I hated that level. I had hoped I wouldn't get to that point of not liking it, but I really did not like that level. 
And the fact that this is labeled as episode 11-3 makes me a little bit worried. Please don't make me go back. <laughs> I don't want to do that level again. Or uh, basically any level similar to it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so here's what I said before, where it'll technically be the same tile set for the third level, but it'll be mixed with another one. So this one looks like it's the, uh, like the elf housing mixed with the factory, which is a good thing to keep it, uh, different. But if you hate the level already, then, you know, I mean, it's still the same really stressful, not great music and, uh, Okay, I guess we're going this way now. Cool. Alright, let's see. Is there socks in here? Aw, oh, it's just a balloon. Whatever. Oh, I dropped it! Alright, I mean, I... I didn't want it that bad, but I didn't mean to drop it either. Up, up, and away! Wee! Oh, I'm sorry, I hit speed up. I didn't mean to do that, I swear. I mean, there was a lot of times where I did mean to do that, but this time I swear I didn't mean to. I'm getting a trigger, trigger finger. I'm getting a little bit too happy to hit speed up. Oh! Hi there, Mr. Elf! I wish those elves weren't so mean! Alright, I'll take that. A continued tree, that sounds very helpful. Cool, I can walk on these pipes. Alright, I actually don't hate this level as much as the last one. The last one was complete... garbage. It... It wasn't even a maze, it was just... There's, like, levels in games, right? That feels kind of maze-ish. And that's, like, kind of the point for some games is to be a maze. But then there's levels that are, like, so outlandish and ridiculous. Like, there was absolutely no kind of, like, marking... <laughs> Socks! There was no kind of, like, marking to kind of tell you where you've been or where... There was, like, everything looked the same. And... It all looked bad. <laughs> I just, what can I say? I really hate factory aesthetic and I really hate stressful music. Especially in my Christmas game. It just makes me a little angry. Alright, I probably shouldn't have run through that, but I was worried it was timed. Uh, that elf wants to murder me just by existing. He, he wants me dead. I want that candy cane, though. Think I can get that candy cane? No, no, I can't. Okay, I gotta go up the ladder. Wait for him to pass. Oh, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> oh, no, I'm accidentally gonna hit the speed up button. My bad. <laughs> okay, I do see a bell over there, but those gears look like they want to kill me, so I gotta be careful. Oh, God! Okay, that time, again, I didn't mean to hit the speed up button. I was trying to jump. See, now I'm getting- now I'm getting too comfortable with the speed up button. Getting a little bit, uh, ahead of myself. Okay. I got the second bell. That's good. Okay. Come down now. How do I get down? Okay. Wait for this mean old elf to pass. I don't think he's trying to be a mean elf. I think he's just literally tripping on me or something. Like he's injuring me by accident is how I'd like to imagine it. So I tried to get like a controller working for this game. It makes sense. I mean, I just wanted to play it on a controller, but my uh, USB splitter broke and I only have a, I have a USB plugged in for my 
light and my microphone and my camera. So trying to plug in anything else is physically impossible. And uh, I tried to find like a, some, just like a USB charger plug block or something I could use. Oh gosh, this is gonna kill me. I'm gonna sneeze now. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I tried to find like a USB plug block so I could plug in my uh, my light into it, but that didn't work out because I didn't have one. <laughs> so I guess I gotta make a trip to good old Amazon or somewhere to get some more tech because if I'm trying to do one of my uh, art streams and I only have one camera, it's just, that's not gonna do good for me. I need both cameras for a lot of my art streams. Because as many of you may know, I work on the floor a lot. I don't really have a choice. I kind of need two cams. But yeah, because of that, I had to map everything to uh, the keyboard here, unfortunately. Even though I really wanted to use my uh, controller. Ooh, I want that. I want that head. I think I can reach that head. Yeah, I got the head. It was just, it's just a little bit sad. I really wanted to use the controller. And because I'm not using the controller, that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Please, please. Okay, guys, you can't judge me. You cannot judge me here for save stating. I, I do not want to redo this whole level. And I don't even think there's any checkpoints. Or if there was one, it would have been way in the early level. Yeah, I, he's, this level, man, still not as bad as the last one. That last level was just the most awful level I've ever played in a game. Okay, I did get a health. That's good. That's a good sign. And there is not a candy cane behind that crate, which is actually good, because then I would have had to go all the way around to get it. Alright, what's in this door? Uh... What's this? A balloon? Oh boy! If I saw the exit door for this level, I don't remember where it is. Uh, sorry, I didn't actually mean to hit speed up there. Again, I'm starting to get my buttons confused now. Where is the exit door? Okay, now I'm meaning to hit speed up. Like, <laughs> those conveyors take like eight years. Okay, um, I guess I'll try this door? Where is everything? I have the bells. I'm only missing one candy cane, but frankly, I could care less about that. I just kind of need to finish the level now. Oh, I skipped it, but he had socks. That's good. All right. Oh, yeah, this. My suggestion is if you like maze games, uh, you might like this game. If you don't like maze games, do not play this game. Um, or you will be sad like me. Is this socks again? I want some socks. Ah, oh, it's a wand. I guess that's fine. I don't know where the exit to this level is. And quite frankly, I, I'm running out of patience fast. All right, it doesn't look like it's up there. Let's try this door. Uh, Pretty sure I just tried over here too. Let's go up even higher maybe. Yeah, this is not great. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's not up here either. Actually, I'm positive it's not up here. There was a bell up here, but not the door. Not the exit door. Ooh, that elf almost caught me. He was mad. He was mad that I was using speed up and save states. He knew. He knew what I did. Alright. Not here. Alright. You know how I said uh, that this level wasn't as bad as the other ones? I changed my mind. 
This is just actual pain. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna meet you guys when I find the exit. Hi guys, I'm back. And I wanna die. Um, 15 minutes it took me. What I didn't notice was, because I have checked all these chests, this one here does not have a wand. It has a balloon. And you need to use this balloon to go up through these pipes. Which... <laughs> now I remember coming down through here sometime near the beginning of the level, but holy cow! How in the world was I supposed to remember that? That's terrible! And then even if you make it all the way up here, um... Oh yeah, there it is. They have some nice death trap scissors there. Just terrible. Just terrible. What bad game design. I think the first half of this game, phenomenal. Great Christmas game. Second half, frustrating disaster. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, glad you guys didn't have to sit through most of that. You did you did have to sit through a good chunk of it, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh god. Um Yeah, I guess I'll do this this one episode. I'll do this one episode, uh it'll be the last level because uh at least, at least for this episode here, we're, we're, we'll cut it after this next level. Because it, it's out of 90 candy canes, which means it's probably like one of those train ones or something. Those aren't bad. We'll do one of those. And then, uh, then I'll cut the episode here. And we'll, we'll finish probably in the next episode of this. Hey, that present, it's going to my town. To someone named Billy. My name is, uh, sorry, my, my name is Billy. Oh man, she freaking she said his address on the internet. Now I have to cut it out. You can't just say that stuff online, man. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, but that's my address. Can't just give that stuff away. Can't put that on the internet. It's about to disappear into that hole. I've got to get it. Wait, look out. No, you idiot. Oh, this time I'm on my butt. Oh no. It's like that Mario 64 slide, but not fun. Um, the reason I'm being more critical right now is because that last, those last like four levels or so have really destroyed me. They've made me very cynical. Um, <laughs> on its own, this is a fine level, it's not bad, but I will say, the controls are just quite wonky. Um, like you push left or right and he doesn't go immediately. And then he's got kind of like a momentum thing. Like if you hold it for more than a second, he goes whoop. Goes like from zero to, not to a hundred, zero to like 10. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine doing this level over and over. I would rather do this level like 40 times than do that last level that I just played again. Or any of those, those previous factory ones. Of course, this still has that bad music, but maybe I'm just salty, okay? I just really hated those levels, but I don't think this is great music either. Oh, I hit some trash. Don't think trash should be on this present shoot, but whatever. You think the elves in the North Pole ever get bored of seeing, like, festive stuff and they kind of just want to see something plain for once in their lives? Like, I, I wouldn't blame them if they just wanted something plain, just like a plain t-shirt or maybe just like a, a plain white wall even, rather than everything being very festive. I mean, I like festive, but it might just be a lot. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that is definitely being more hole-punched as we go. If I didn't know what it said, um... There's no way I'd be able to make that out. <laughs> Actually, I can't even make it out now. I don't even know if it's spelled right. Anyways, <laughs> um, you guys tell me. <laughs> 
If you guys can make that out, or if it just looks like a lot of nothing. Because right now, oh boy! Definitely time for a break. Um, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go get a snack. I think I need a stress snack right now. So, I'll see you guys later. And, uh... I have a little elf wave at you too. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I hope I didn't stress you out too much for this episode. <laughs>